Potter's Journal, February 2020. What's going on in the studio today? It finally happened. Somebody approached me to make apple baker bowls. What's an apple baker bowl? Something I said I would never make. Okay, it's not a little bowl to bake in, and it's not a little pie plate. And it's not even a little bowl. It can be all of those things, but it has to have a spike coming up through the middle. A spike that, from what I understand, does absolutely nothing to cook the apple, except hold it in place in the middle of the bowl. Okay, I said I'd never do it. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the studio today. Oh, he's trying new stuff. Okay, it's just a bowl, except it's got a spike in the middle. Um, I have been opening this up and leaving the spike there, just about the size it should be. Um, not, you know, throwing it or shaping it from a little lump of clay in the bottom, left in the middle, but um, <laughs> cutting it out as if it were a lathe. Okay. And opening up the bowl. This is the simplest of the apple bakers. Okay, and see, that does need shaped a little bit. I wanted it to be a little bit wider on the bottom. So I'm doing my best to do it so it needs no additional working. And making sure we go over the bottom, compress the clay. may be a little more decorative and elaborate. Basically, I think uh, the people looking for this this thing want something cheap and little. Undercut. Um, I've thrown little bowls like this and lifted them off the wheel or hydroplaned them off, but I don't like well, putting these on bats today. And giving this a decorative wave. And then a little line up here to catch and break the glaze. I'm only going to put one glaze on them to keep them simple. And sometimes when I do the wavy pattern, it throws the bowl out of shape. Other times it doesn't. Okay, and that is the simplest of the group shaped like an apple. Okay, that's cute. And to match a pie plate. I researched here what others have done with it and imposed a bit of my own idea on the sketches. But um, for fear, since I only had an order for one, um, fear of not selling it. And here's one that is shaped like a pie. I believe that's from Row Pottery. Um, okay, decided I better do four styles and I will glaze them all a little bit different. The simple bowl, the wavy top, a little more decorative like a pie. 
and one a little bit bigger so not taking any chances I want to have one to suit them and I never want to do this again this one I made a little wider and they're a little taller and rounder we're gonna put a little groove in the rim Take the pointy end of the sponge and round it off. And then, okay, going by where the bat pins are, this one will have the wavy edges. And I, this is something I would never make, these Apple Baker Bowls, but it's the way somebody approaches you. It's a challenge. They say, you can't make, or you, at first they say, you don't make, then they say, say it like you can't make. Well, of course I can make. But I just don't get it. Why wouldn't you just bake it in a regular bowl? nobody's come up with in any of the recipes that little knob in there doing anything for you oh and you know we always have this thing art or production pottery or somewhere in between one way or the other just as I was getting into these um, Mediterranean pottery jugs here with the double spout and the coiled um, spout that was um, skewered um, and with the um, beading here um, if that's what it's called. Eddie Goller did some Native American pieces and he used the same term so I might have that right. We will get back to this but first okay let's get back to the next style of the Apple Baker Bowl. The next style is going to be little pie plate like. I like this one because It'll look good with my pie plates, and I do so many. Okay, this is centered low and wide. And we are going to open this up right outside where the spike would be, leaving the spike there, already made, not really doing much shaping or throwing to it. checking the thickness of the bottom. Yeah, this one I kind of don't mind the idea of. But um, once again, you know, just a bowl. There are so many uses and reasons to use a bowl. And people ask what a bowl is for. Oh, I can just picture this at the shows. What is that? And then how do I tell them when I think it's a dumb idea? I don't think I could sell one of these. If I had to, I'd be telling them, just get a regular ball. The spike doesn't do anything. Except for people who get sold on an idea of something. Whether it does anything or not. Okay, so we'll get this little pie plate made. So this apple baker that'll look like my little pie or my pies. here on the lip because I 
before I do the fluting, put okay, a little groove in there that'll catch the glazes and accent the fluting. Okay, uh, we'll do one more yet. Um, you know I like to test things out and we've got the apples here to do it with um, that are about finished. They came off of a friend's tree. Um, we'll talk about putting them to the test here at the end. And this is it. Style number four. I'm not taking any chances of not having what they want. I'll have one to suit everybody because I don't think I ever want to do this again. I don't believe in them. So, will this thing really bake a better apple than a plain bowl? Stop back next week. We will get these glazed, fired, and put to the test. Um, leave your comments below on if maybe the idea is just too stupid to put to the test. Maybe we should bake something better. Okay, um, just uh, if you haven't commented, it only takes one word. Pie, dumplings, strudel, apple strudel. Okay, stop back next week for more apples. And those people say they're healthy cooked in that thing too with the sugar and the butter. What about just a plain old sliced apple?